Hello everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here with Beautiful Beauty. Hello guys. I am going to do a product review. A little out of breath today. Still trying to get over my sickness and a little exhausted if you know what I mean. But anyhow, I have some time here, a little extra time. I'm going to try to muggle through it here. But I wanted to share this product with you. I've been doing a lot of product reviews on the Coco Kind products lately. I have bought a lot of the Coco Kind products and um, I bought them from LuckyVitamin.com and I've bought them from Vitacost.com and um, yeah, I kind of went a little crazy. I've been wanting to try the brand for a very long time. I really do like the products. I prefer when it comes to skincare more naturally realmed products and I'm sure you guys know that. I like things sulfate free, paraben free, phthalate free, cruelty free, no animal testing, things that have more uh, pure ingredients, more organic, more naturally derived ingredients. I just prefer it that way. I have dry sensitive skin and my skin seems to really respond well to those type of products, you know what I mean? Okay, so let's get started. This is the Coco Kind Organic All-Purpose Salve. S some people say salve, some people say solve, whatever, you know what I mean? <laughs> Coco Kind Organic All-Purpose Salve, okay? Calm and Smoothing Moisture USDA Organic for irritated, dry, or sensitive skin. That's me, you guys. I have dry skin. My skin can get very irritated if I use the wrong products. Now, my skin responds very well to coconut oil. Make sure you do. If your skin responds very well to coconut oil, in all honesty, you're gonna totally like these products. Now, if you get breakouts, blemishes, acne, or clogged pores, or things like that from coconut oil, however, I do not recommend these products. Now, I'm one of these people, for me personally, I do very well with coconut oil. My skin does well. My hair also does very well with coconut oil. But I do very well with my skin and my face, very well. So this is what it looks like. I use it at night, only at night, because it is super heavy. It is very moisturizing. It is uh, too greasy. It is too balmy, too heavy. You're not going to want to wear this during the day. And you definitely cannot wear it under makeup because it's kind of like it would be fighting against you. You know what I mean? It would be removing your makeup rather than letting you aware your makeup. Do you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people use coconut oil as makeup remover. I am one of them. I use olive oil and I like to use coconut oil for makeup remover. So anyhow, this is a nighttime product. I definitely re recommend it for dry skin, sensitive skin, dry patches, dry areas, really anywhere you might have a little dry patch or two or a dry spot. And I was going to show you like this, uh, or how it is, the texture of it rather. It has a coconut oily texture. It is totally melted right now. Kind of like if you're familiar with coconut oil at a certain room temperature, if it gets hotter at a certain room temperature, it will melt and become liquid. It will liquefy. If it drops below a certain room temperature in your house or uh, apartment, dorm, hotel room, friend's place, wherever you're at, um, it will drop, it, it will solidify. You know what I'm saying? If it gets really cool, it will solidify and become a solid and become a hard state. If it gets too hot and warm, it becomes all liquidy and liquefied like this. Even though right now, I have my air conditioner pumping and cranking. My air conditioner is about 73 right now, and it's still at the liquid state. So if you open it up, just keep that in mind. You know, it might be a little messy. You can actually spill some of the product. So it's totally derived and comprised mainly of coconut oil. And I believe these products are made in San Francisco, California. I believe, I believe. Yeah, actually there it is. San Francisco, California. And let's see what else I can tell you. There's ingredients. I like it. It does not have much of a smell. It really just simply smells like coconut. So I do like that. And here we go. Here's the good stuff. So it is paraben free, preservative free, chemical free, gluten free, alcohol free, GMO free, fragrance free, and like I said earlier, cruelty free. So that's what it looks like. It really is. It's very hydrating. It's super moisturizing. I like it. I love it. I use it at nighttime only. I'm actually putting it on my face right now <laughs> because it's like eight or nine o'clock at night. So yeah, it's late enough. You know what I'm saying, guys? Hey, I love you. Take care. Be sure to check out all my other product review videos out here that have to do with the Coco Kind. I've been progressively uploading these videos here lately. Been buying a lot of their products, been liking a lot of their products, but I've been a little bit lagging and slow to actually upload. Been sick lately. I've been sick for a month and my lung infection is still there. I'm trying to get better, but you know how it rolls. And my skin has been very dehydrated the last month. 
The Cocoa Kind products have really helped me through. I had a really bad sinus infection. Well, like what's new? You know what I mean? Bad sinus infection. Then I got a lung infection. And then I have just felt awful for one entire month. And this has really helped rehydrate my skin, put the spring back in my skin, the plumpness, all that, just to recharge my skin. You know what I'm saying? Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to give me a big, huge thumbs up. Be sure to give me a big, huge like. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Bye, beauties.